This is my Harbor Freight low profile, I believe it's a three ton jack. I got this back in like 2011 or 2012. It's been with me almost 10, 11 years now. It still works great, however, I think I'm due for an upgrade. Oh, I know I have the hoist and whatnot, but there's always something stuck on the hoist and sometimes with the way the hoist is positioned with the garage door, it's kind of an awkward position to, you know, back a car in and whatnot. Sometimes it's just easier to just get a jack underneath, especially if you're just doing one, you know, one corner of a car. In the colder months, uh, the hydraulics don't work as great. I have changed the fluid in it a couple times, but I think I'm just due for an upgrade. So recently my brother went to Harbor Freight and picked up this bad boy. This is basically their biggest, baddest floor jack that they have for the low profile platforms. They do have one that's similar to this. It is slightly cheaper than it. But the noticeable difference that I noticed right away is that the frame on this one is a little more beefy than the frame on that one. Everything else, as far as lifting capacity and lifting height, I think is the same, but I could be wrong, so don't hold me to it. The only gripe with this model is that it only comes in yellow. Now, I do like this color, and it's, it's a nice looking jack. But here at the shop, you spill oil on that, get some debris on it, it just, it, it'll look messy, and uh, his jack already has some stains on it. So I, I didn't pull the trigger on it yet just because I was kind of leaning more towards the cheaper model just because they come in darker colors. So sometime last week I was on Harbor Freight's website and it turns out that they came out with two new colors for the Super Duty line. They came out with, I believe it's called a Candy Apple Red and a Sunburst Orange. I got in my car, headed out to my local Harbor Freight. When I got there they only had the yellow one and the red one on display. I had to have the red one. They didn't have anything in stock so what have I been doing for the past several days? I've been monitoring Harbor Freight's website like a hawk. I woke up this morning, checked out my local one, and they had it in stock. So guess where we're going? Let's head out to Harbor Freight. I'll see you guys when we get back. So we're back from Harbor Freight. It was a bit of a almost disappointing journey. Thanks to Chris and the one other guy that helped me. Huge shout out to you guys. They're at the Harbor Freight here in Ypsilanti, Michigan. They were able to find one for me. The Harbor Freight website said that they had them in stock. So I went over there. But when I walked through the floor jack aisles, I could not find any. There wasn't any boxes. Heck, for the three colors that these come in, there weren't any in stock. I had one of them look it up in their system and it still said that they didn't have any in stock. I was like, ah, it's okay, whatever. I came to buy other stuff anyways. Went and bought some drill bits. As I was walking through the aisles, one of them came chasing after me and said, hey, guess what? We looked in the back and we were able to find two. Huge shout out to you guys for getting this jack for me. I still haven't seen it in person. And it turns out that the one that they had on display was the sunburst orange that, the, that I saw four days ago and today. Now I thought that one was a good looking jack. Turns out that this is a bit darker than the Sunburst Orange. So the orange one is called Sunburst Orange. This one's called the Candy Apple Red. And they have one in yellow, as you guys saw earlier in the video. That's the one my brother has. I'm an avid Milwaukee guy. All my power tools are pretty much Milwaukee. Now, I do have a Dewalt to drill here and there. If you guys know about Milwaukee, their color combo is usually red, uh, red, white, and black. So... You guys see there's some red, you guys see some black, and there's a little bit of white. Let's go ahead, get it unboxed, and show you guys what it looks like. Moment of truth. Let me tell you guys, when I first opened this up, I was just, I was wowed away. Harbor Freight, you guys are doing something right, okay? Now, I know it's just a car jack, but there's something about this paint job on this car jack. It just makes me want to work on cars even more. So if you guys can see that, it's, uh, it's, it's almost like a burgundy, and the light isn't doing it justice. Well, there's no light in here. Let's see if that helps. And if you guys can see, it's got that sparkly, metallic... Uh, touch to the paint Now let's go ahead and uh, get this thing out the box get it assembled I will tell you guys that this thing is heavy So if you plan on buying this jack to I don't know 
keep it in the back of your truck for like an off-road setup for some odd reason I wouldn't go with this this thing is super heavy but the assembly should be easy looks like this is all one piece and this is the top of the handlebar and what's nice about it is that it has like that that push button uh, feature so that'll just push into the bottom of the handlebar so that will go here and then you've got your protective foam so you're not scratching up cars whenever you go to use the jack and then uh, the how this goes into the jack basically is like a push pin style so I'll show you guys Assemble this jack. All you gotta do, you take the two handlebar pieces, you're gonna slide them together, push that little button, slides right in. Okay, so once you've got your handlebar put together, we need to go ahead and remove this little protective brace. I think they do this for shipping purposes. I just have any kind of uh, uh, pry tool, so I'll just go ahead and pry this out. like that so that's basically garbage now to put the handle and the jack slide it in that's it give it a nice little push and we're good to go so to lift up the jack we're gonna turn the handle all the way to the right bring it up to bring up the jack and then to lower the jack, just bring the handle all the way, well not all the way, but bring it to the left until the, the uh, mechanism comes down. So I know this is completely random, but here is a color comparison of the red compared to the Milwaukee red. So that's my Milwaukee M12 ratchet. There it is. I know these are just tools, but these are some pretty tools, guys. So that pretty much wraps up the video. I just wanted to show you guys how this thing looked out of the box and give you guys kind of a color comparison to my Milwaukee tools, I guess. Let me know what you guys think of the color and hopefully this video helps you make your decision as far as which jack to choose. At the time of this video, this jack costed me around $230. So it was like $229 plus taxes. If you wait around, Harbor Freight sometimes will have sales and I think I've seen these go as low as 199 but you don't expect huge discounts on these things these are basically like the iphone of their brands thank you guys for watching go ahead and wrap it up and we'll see you guys in the next video